What up y'all and welcome back to another one. We're at the house out in the back getting after it again today. Uh, today's video, very special one, river duck hunt. Y'all know my favorite hunts in the world are my at home right here river duck hunts. Now this one we shot woodies, a bunch of teal, some mallards, but the reason why this video didn't make the cut uh, back in, you know, hunting season was the shooting was a little rough. The, sho the shooting was actually a lot rough. Big shout out to my clients that were on this hunt. Uh, it was a pretty tough shooting situation because we shot a bunch of teal, but they came, they, every time they came, they came out of nowhere. Very unexpected. You wouldn't see them coming. We couldn't kind of see behind us to the right over our right shoulder because we were sitting up against uh, big cattails. But that's what made the hunt awesome is because these teal would literally come out of nowhere. And, and uh, I'm very proud to say that here at Sand Hill Flyways, we are able to provide uh, river duck hunting now. And uh, through some, you know, newfound knowledge, we're able to do it. We are booking hunts for this coming 22-23 fall season. Uh, if you guys want to get on these river duck hunts, anything like this, our pond duck hunts, goose hunts, go to sandhillflyways.com, fill out the inquire to book form, and yours truly will be contacting you. Yes, books are open. We're inviting all new clients. Uh, it's gonna be an awesome year, guys. Jeez. You guys don't want to even know what I got going on here. We got some pure shenanigans going. Can we make it up the hill? Come on, baby. This golf cart is a beast. But before we get into uh, this duck hunt, got to show you what's going on. <laughs> Look. Uh-huh. Yesterday, your boy went and bought 600 feet of 5 8 garden hose. Yes, the heavy duty kind. Um, because a lot of you were here last week and we planted rye, rye grass out here along the pond. Now, we haven't had near as much rain as I've needed. So 600 foot of hose, started watering yesterday. Uh, this is what we got going on in the off season to all of you that haven't been here yet. This is what I do in the off season water and water and water and water and more watering i gotta move it because yeah this is really saturated here but this is what i've been doing i gotta move this thing everywhere like i said it has to build pressure she'll start kicking here in a minute come on baby uh but this is the only way to get it done guys enjoy this duck hunt i'm gonna get this moved we'll see you at the end of it wait 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 before we get into it check out this little turkey package from Bucks Hunting. Yes, y'all have wanted some turkey gear? Well, here you go. Go to buckshunting.com. I will link it down in the description as well as the Sand Hill Flyways website. Let's hunt. Be ready. They're probably gonna come from the right. Right here out for, ooh. Got two that landed on the other side. Do you see them? Yeah. Go ahead and shoot those birds. Out front, out front. Okay. Did we down anything? <laughs> did, it, did, it, did anybody see anything fall? No. Woof. <laughs> it's dark, so when they're, when they're down there, they're hard to see right now. <laughs> oh, that was funny. No birds. No. Is that a bird right there floating? Yeah. Dead bird. Be ready guys, watch the dog if so. Good, here, fetch it up. That was not a bird. No. Here. here. They short stopped us again. It's hard to see them. So hard to see right They're so now. hard to see. Sit on, the, on the left. Come on. <laughs> Dang it. My call's froze. 
Ready. Oh, there we go. Old Turkey Tom. Uh oh. Get him. All teal. Good, here. Good boy. All three of them died. Good shooting. Drop. Here. Look at that. Here, Fred. Here. Nice shooting. That was good. That was awesome. Here, Fred. Heel. Reload. Get ready. Those are beautiful teal right there, guys. They're checking for bands. Yeah, Dad's got a, a teal band that's so tiny. Yeah. It was 17 years old. Wow. Isn't that crazy? He shot in the 80s. A 17 year old banded teal? Yeah, he shot in the 80s. Holy smoke. On the right, guys. Mallard, shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. That's a gadwall. Fred. Nice shooting, boys. There we go. When I say shoot him, don't take your time. Race to it, or he, they're gonna get out. Come on, buddy. Good, good. Here, drop. Gaddy. A what? Gadwall. Gaddy, gaddy. Four down, we gotta keep poking away. Good shooting. Yeah, when I say go up at him, go up quick. Cause I, I have to call the shot way ahead. You know what I mean? Top, right up top, right up top, right up top. Okay, that's enough. So, so I'm gonna see him coming before when I say overhead, that's that's right over the head. No bird, sit. <laughs> They're fast, dude. Yeah, they are. <laughs> They're so fast. And believe me, they're much in they're very much in range. They're just fast. Yeah. <laughs> they're real fast. Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. River duck hunt. We are shooting some swings and some misses. That's fine. It's hard to hit them. It's really, really dark still. Uh, shooting light today was 710. And uh, no clouds in the sky today. And uh, not much wind at all. It's like three miles. It's supposed to be three mile an hour. So perfect day for the river. Lots of teal that are really, really fast and absolutely almost sometimes impossible to hit. So. We got four ducks down, a gaddy and three teal. Fred won't quit whining for some weird reason. I have no idea. Let's get after it, boys. Yeah, those three were, how sweet. That was perfect. They're wanting to, the birds are wanting to land down here, though. Showing your gun. What's all about your gun today? All right. Yeah. So uh, this is my uh, great-grandfather's Winchester Model 12. Uh, I'm the fourth generation of my family to duck hunt with this shotgun. So I always try and get it out at least once a year. Out front, oh, guys, shoot them. Two, shoot them. Nice. Now, next one, next one. Nice, friend. Oh, Good shooting. Good hey, we'll, we'll pick up here in a minute, Bert, <laughs> where we left off. That was some close shoot. <laughs> Those ducks were close. We'll hurry up and get back in. Fetch it up, dead bird. All right, Bertus. We were rudely interrupted right. by the ducks. Yeah, no problem. So, yeah, basically I was saying this is my great-grandfather's Winchester Model 12. I am uh, the fourth generation in my family to waterfowl duck hunt with this, with this shotgun. Pump gun. Yes, sir. Pump shotgun. Uh, it's manufactured in 1929, I believe. So that's like... <laughs> that's so awesome. Uh, yeah, it's like a 90, 92, 93 year old shotgun. Think about how many river and pond duck hunts that bad boy seen. Oh yeah, my dad hunted the marshes down in uh, Texas when he was in college and growing up. And that was kind of, it got to a point where my dad wasn't using it as much. And he said, you know what, this gun needs to be used, needs to be shot. So yeah, yeah I said, try and get it out at least once a season. So exactly. Continue keeping it going. And yeah, it makes it fun. Oh yeah. It makes it fun using a different gun, especially one that's handed down to you through the family. It's special. Have you smashed any yet that you know of? Uh, I think uh, I, don't, I don't think so. These guys, once we get them in, they, they've been crunching them. I haven't really had. An that was about a ten-yard shot right there. Oh well, we just had a, I believe, a Drake Woody. Hold it here. Come on, let's go. Yep, good-looking one. Okay, from a distance, he had. Hey, here. Good boy. That was a good shot. Drop. That was a heck of a shot. Mallards are hard. 
I don't know why. Oh, there they go. Come on back, buddy. See? It's, you need to come back this way. Well, it's slowed down a bit <laughs> for a little while. Uh, hoping once it gets warm here with the sun that they'll start flying a little more. Darn eagle was chasing the mallard. That didn't help us out much. Here, here, here. Drop that. Fred, Fred. Shoot him. Nice. Okay, well, there he is. Fred, 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 dead bird, dead bird. Well, that was insane. We just had a huge flock of teal land in front of us. Did not make a peep coming. All I heard was splashing. Did not get the camera on for that one. Holy cow, that was awesome. <laughs> Look at this one. He didn't get wet. Look how pretty. Green? They're all green, yeah. Nice. You got a good one. Holy cow. That was awesome. There you go. Want to have two? There we go. Good shooting. They uh surprised. I didn't even see them coming. Here's the spread. Like usual. Oh, that was cool. I went, oh god, shoot him, shoot him! <laughs> I Holy cow! That happened with the reaction. That was <laughs> insane. Literally, all I heard was <laughs> splashing. Here they come, guys! Don't move! Don't move! Shoot them over top! Shoot them! Fred, good job. That was it. That was it. Over the topper. Good. One's good enough. Good shooting. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Good. Hold it. Heck yeah. Well, they worked. They actually worked back in. That was awesome. Nice. No mojo. Yep. No mojo. That might be the deal. Come on, Frederico. Here, here, here. There we go. There's our first. Well, Gaddy. Another Gaddy. Another Gadwall. Ten Gaddy. Wanna? You can put them in your pile. There you go. Thank you. Yep. Oh, three more. Get in. Here, Fred. Here. Get ready, guys. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. That's. <laughs> with them they were a little high Good one. Right. yep shoot them shoot them shoot them nice Got here! Hold! Go! Woo! There we go. What time is it? It is here, 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 here. 4.34. I, I wasn't recording here. any audio, but we uh, we got it. Back! There we go. Kill three, four? Four, three, four? Well, there we go, four. First group to even come by. So, that's a good... Here, heel. Drop. Here. That's a that's a really really big one. All right, everybody good to go? Okay, that was good shooting. That right, if they decoy, that's what we're going to be dealing with. So that shot, uh, remember, if they land, pay attention to what lands. I'll be screaming down. We got ten on the ground, twenty on the ground. I know that you'll have a lot of action up top, but if I tell you there's ten or twenty on the ground. The first shot, they all lift together. It's it's the easiest shot rather than trying to shoot them flying way out there. We got two special guests and dad. You gotta get, you gotta tell everybody your name, where you from. I'm Griffin from Minnesota. How long you been hunting ducks and geese? Since I was about 
five, I'd say. How old are you now? Fourteen. You got some years on you, son. Yep. You're going to be professional before you know it. Might have to hire you to come help. You get, oh, I can barely see you. Hold on a minute. I'm Lincoln, and I'm ten. Ten? We had to uh, make him a special little shooting area. Did you shoot out of your hole? I shot right here. Oh, you shot right there? Okay. Are you going to keep going out of the hole, or you want to go over here? I'm going to go right out of here. All right. As long as you're comfortable. Here's Dad. Dad, I'm Joel. Having a great time. Yeah, we finally got into a Keeping good group. Keeping the kids busy. Yep. Yeah, they're loving it. They like playing at, at least Lincoln likes playing with Bodie. Probably just as much as he likes hunting out here. Bodie and Fred the dog. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you guys are here. Thanks. Thanks for coming. You bet. Honestly. All right, keep going down. Three more. So I'm Chris from uh, Reno. Uh, just happy to be here, I guess. You came by yourself. <laughs> yeah, solo. What? When did you book? When was? What month was that? Do you remember? I think like May. May. You were yeah. way early. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely wanted to come I out remember. here. I so. remember. Like you mind? I mean, I'm just <laughs> by myself. You you don't mind? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone that hunts with me just too unreliable, so. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to watch this. They're going to watch this, no, and you're going to have to deal with it. They're that unreliable that they won't, they won't watch it, so. <laughs> <laughs> He's got confidence. All right, go ahead. Joe from Indiana. Indiana. Uh, yep, yep. We, dude, we're spread across the U.S. Sir, again. We are. Yep, having a great time. It's awesome. You hunt a lot of honkers up north or yep. over there. Lots of them. Yep, Big pretty much. Honkers. That's about it. Yep. Few mallards here and there, but few mallards, yeah. just water. No, mainly fields. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. There's no water in Indiana. There's no water <laughs> in Indiana. Just as dry as a bone. Oh, yeah. it is. Really? Yeah. I'm sure we have some Indiana watchers. Drop a comment down below about the drought situation. Yeah. Shout <laughs> out to our boys that didn't make it. Levi and Jared. You know <laughs> so <you> they <laughs> wanted to shout out. So here oh, we are. <laughs> <laughs> They're definitely Wish you could be watch here, it. man. <laughs> but Go ahead. I'm Tyler. I'm here with Joe and. Uh, we were one of those uh, late arrival, you know, we saw an opening and we jumped on it and thanks to Bobby and Beth for hooking us up. I'm it's been a great time. It's an awesome group. Yeah. We got the kids, yeah. we got dad, we got the buddies, we got a single yep. yeah. and it works out great. Couldn't we're be here. any better. It's good stuff, especially birds cooking. That might yeah. be the best. All right, Fred, peel. Come here, dude. He's already got a bloody face from them geese. You're gonna have to hold it. Stop your shopping, okay? This is coach talk, no. Stop your shopping, you fetch it up, and you hold it. Okay? Okay, big boy? Well, what's today's date? January 27th? Eight? Yeah. Tw 28th. Boy, howdy. Mm. Uh, ducks are still open through Sunday. Uh, but a lot of them wanted to geese hunt, or geese hunt, goose hunt. Nice English. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, so we tried to put something together today, last night. I was like, we have two options. This is probably how it'll go. It was a, just a good guess. I was like, it's going to be upper 20s in the morning. Some, some will fly. We should probably go in the morning, sit the spread. I was like, we'll probably only shoot one to three geese. But... I think it's worth going in the morning and giving it a go. You never know what'll happen. Sure enough, we shot three. Left at 10, 30, 11, like I said. Everything exactly how I figured it would go, but now we're evening, so they have to feed now, and we're sitting at 450, 448, and they have not flown yet. Those were just traveling, bumping water, water to water, so uh, hopefully we can shoot more than four tonight. We shot three, so four. We need a we, we need a couple groups, you know. Come on. We left the spread up, came back to it, went and ate lunch. It's nice out. Feels good. Uh, so this video was supposed to. Why ain't my door working? There it goes. Was supposed to be uploaded uh, during the season. That was the end of January when that hunt went, was, I believe. Uh, but it was supposed to go up. I remember Preston editing this video and saying, Hey Bob, I just went ahead and threw in uh, that little goose hunt that you did that afternoon. I'm like, oh, okay. Completely spaced it off and I just got done editing it up and <laughs> it just went to the next hunt. I'm like, what's this? <sighs> I missed the season, uh, but we're getting ready to have more and more fun on this off season. 
what I have come to find out is you guys absolutely love the shotgun videos and it is going to be uh, everything, I'm gonna do everything in my power to provide them. Now guys, I have a really good idea. Me and P. Diddy are gonna start buying some one-off ammunitions like Dragon's Breath and all these crazy slugs that shoot nails and all this stuff. We're gonna start doing those Mythbuster videos again. And we had an awesome idea to start hitting up local gun shows and buying just random crazy stuff. Whether it's a gun, whether it's ammunition, and trying to get it for cheap and taking you guys along with us. If you like that idea, please drop a comment down below. I think it, I think we hit the nail on the head with the whole gun show, the ammo, get, you know, old shotguns again that I don't give a crap about and run stuff through them. So if you guys like that idea, please, please, please let me know. Even if you've never dropped a comment down below, just please, just let me know. If that's something that you want to see, you have to let me know. I'm just begging, please drop a comment. No matter what you say, yes, no, Bobby, absolutely, those would be interesting. Please just let me know. You guys telling me what to do, that's all I got. So, if you want to come hunt here at Sand Hill Flyway, the lodge, yes, yes, yes. This coming fall, winter 22, 23 season, please, all you gotta do, if you're extra interested, if you're extra interested and want to just go ahead and get on the books, get it done, get a hold of me, the thing you need to do is go to sandhillflyways.com, which is always linked down in the description, fill out the inquire to book form. It sends it right to me and the wife, we read it, we call you right back. So if you have filled a form out, don't worry, we are getting to you. We're only a two-man band. so. We want to hear from you guys. Just give us a little bit of time to get back with you, but I promise we are and we will. But subscribe if you have a lot of exciting things coming. Uh, getting ready to get fun. Turkey season's here. We got some coyote videos coming. Been doing a lot of different stuff, y'all. Subscribe if you haven't. But until next time. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know.